Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Big 12's identity has been with great offense, whether it's Jason White and the Sooners, Vince Young and the Longhorns of the high-powered Oklahoma State teams of recent years, the scoreboard is usually going to get a workout. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. State, which becomes the site for this football contest. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas Tech is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Oklahoma's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He passes it. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. The Sooners always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Down at about the 29-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. From the 29-yard line, third down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 12. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop him. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at scores around the country. The Owls have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Owls are out front, 7-0. In other games, the traditional backyard brawl, Pittsburgh and West Virginia. Teams take great joy in winning and almost as much pleasure in knocking down their rivals. The Mountaineers squeak by by four. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Oklahoma Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Coley from the two. And down he goes at the 28. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. team. 
So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. They'll bring him down at the 22. Scott gains around eight yards on the run. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Burton awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Oklahoma up seven points. Quick throw. Tackle around the 47 yard line. That makes it second and six. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. the 47-yard line. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Brown looking to get some distance on this one and give his team the field position advantage. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. catch and he's got room here and down he goes at the 45 throws complete and he's hit right away Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From the 38-yard line, third down. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. Loss of two yards on the way. That'll bring up fourth and five. Sack. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Yeah. 
The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Oklahoma is up a score. Steps out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Defense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense to ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling, and he's sacked. From the 42-yard line, it's third down. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. And he's taken down at about the 13. it off they bring him down in the backfield the offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen but getting up to the linebackers that way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level from the 15 yard line it's second down the 10 touchdown Sooners He converts the extra point. An eight-play, 52-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Cox has it at the five. Tackle at the 32. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 50. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Hey. 
He's scrambling. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. And he is drilled. The 39-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Under heavy pressure. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 33-yard line, third down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner out versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Brought down at the one yard line. That brings up second and goal. Texas Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. Two minutes to go in the half. Roger, Roger. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Texas Tech. So they run the option to perfection for the school. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back and let him go in for six. And he adds the extra point. The Red Raiders running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. They line up to kick this one away from the eight-yard line. He's tackled at the 36. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oklahoma is up seven. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 46. That'll make it 31. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Coley, the return man. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle to 37-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He 
He wants it all going long. And he's got the junior. He launches one for the end zone. Singleton to the end receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 27. Mike 20, Mike 20. It's red two. He's in trouble. He heaves it to the end zone. The defense had a chance here, Brad, to just end the drive. An interception there. They get the football back and a lot of momentum. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Throws this one out to the right. And he hits him hard at the one. Get him in the backfield. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. And how about that for some good luck? Dives and he's down. Check, check. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Good throw, caught, touchdown. Oh, that just kills everything this defense has worked for in this first half. You can't let them score with no time left. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? We'll keep a close eye on Columbia. The Tigers have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Missouri in front, 21-14. Meanwhile, time to take you out for this Pac-12 showdown. The Beavers' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Oregon State leads it 21-17. All tied up at 14 in our game, Reese. Texas Tech lines up for the kickoff. Gatewood from the one. He makes it to the 25-yard line. We've played a half. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Cox takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 39. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. He 
hit and taken down. Decent run up the gut. He's looking for six. Touchdown, Red Raiders. So the coach challenges the call, and they're going to try to determine if the receiver made the catch inbounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was inbounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After, after reviewing the play, the, play, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. He scrambles, and down he goes around the 19-yard line. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Texas Tech could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. Texas Tech's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Tackle right around the 38 yard line. That brings up second and one. Here he goes. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line. That's good for a game of 27 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Brought down in the open field. That's good for a game of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike gets the And he's tackled at the 12. himself Davis comes away with five yards on the scramble there and he makes it out to about the five yard line fourth down They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Oklahoma can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Cox fields at the goal line. 
He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It and he's looking for more. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Taken down at about the 35. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Try and scramble. He's got the corner. Very good tackle in space. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Nice run up the middle. That's a great tackle at the 10. One quarter remaining. Good game here, 17-17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Six and he got it. Touchdown. That score puts him in the driver's seat right now offensively. The question is, can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? And 
he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 73 yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now. 24-17, and he's taken down at the 37. The Sooners have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Tackle made oh, around the 48 yard line. Oh, that makes, that makes it first, first and first ten. ten. Brought down around the 40 yard line. That brings him second and nine. Seven the mic. Larry, Larry, Larry. Q26, Q26. Strip that ball. Strip that ball. Slam, 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 slam. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of six yards. First down. to the receiver. Tackle at the 13-yard line. That's a game of 18 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Down he goes at the four-yard line. That's a deal. That'll make it second and inches. Here we go. Touchdown, Oklahoma! to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So an eight play, 63 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. We got a tie game here, not at 24. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Texas Tech's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Less than three minutes in the game. He's under some heat. Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled at the 36. Man, 
these guys can be aggressive. That's when you stand awesome back there and take hits like that, you Third definitely down. are going to feel it the next day. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So the defense does their job well on that series. Oklahoma's going to take their first time out of the half. Get on the ball. Get on the ball. Burton awaits the snap. Gets to about the 37-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 35. They come out in a five wide set. Throws it deep. Got a man, watch out here. He's all the way home, touchdown. Oklahoma's star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team, and that's exactly what we just saw. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 28. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. It's exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A little over a minute in the game. He's scrambling. Good open field tackle. That'll make it second and seven. He lets it fly. The Red Raiders taking their first time out of the half. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. But so far, it still hasn't been enough as these guys are still losing this game. And he just gets rid of it. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Texas Tech.
The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's all tied up at 31. Smith looks ready to kick this one off. Gatewood from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Man, hang on to your hats, folks, because both these offenses are in gear right now. Well, the way these guys are executing right now, it could come down to just which defense can come up with one stop. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? We have less than a minute to go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. That brings him six and five. The Sooners call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And for Gibson, he brings his receiving yardage to 100. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're going to have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And he's tackled with the 22-yard line. It's almost picked. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. They'll try to ice him with a timeout here. Kick is up. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Sooners know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.